Hi, this is Ramondo with the Boxing Corner. Um, I'm about 30 minutes uh, past due putting up uh, the fight that, that happened not too long ago. It was a fight between uh, Andre Berto and Robert Guerrero. Um, it was a very hype fight for me personally. Um, seeing Robert Guerrero's uh, past couple of fights and Berto's uh, past couple of fights as well. I thought it was a good style matchup between the two with uh, Berto being the more boxer uh, faster, quicker um, uh, fighter, and Guerrero being, you know, um, the boxer puncher. Um, I thought it would be a very interesting match, and I was uh, very much into and happy that the fight got made. Um, I was waiting anxiously. I mean, as soon as the fight was called, uh, that the fight was gonna gonna happen, I was uh, in awe that I was like, yeah, l let's see this fight. Uh, not more. F it was really more for wanting to see how Guerrero would deal with uh with Berto, than Berto dealing with Guerrero. Um, it was for Guerrero's I guess interim belt. Um, Berto held the title, the full title in the past for uh, I think they said about two or three years roughly. Um, again, it was an interesting fight between like a boxer and a boxer puncher. Um. Um, let me go ahead and talk about the fight. Um, there's a lot to talk about, and I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. Round one um, with was Rob pretty much coming out um, and catching Berto uh, cold and actually knocked down Berto. Now, Berto is, <laughs> Chin is suspect early in the fight, as you can tell with the Ortiz fight. Uh, Ortiz did catch Berto early on and, and staggered him and knocked him down. So this was not... Um, unfamiliar to me with, with the Ortiz fight. Um, th obviously a 10-8 round. Um, second round, Rob scores another knockdown, and actually, um, Berto's eye looks real bad. Um, they thought it was a thumbing, but actually he skidded his eye as he punched, and he was getting a little not going right there. And I was like, oh shit. Um, and and the second round and the first round were more. They were more fighting than anything else. Um, the third round starts, and um, I gave it to Rob. Um, and this is where the fight starts to get very smothery. Now, I appreciate good inside fighting. I really do. The Brandon Rios fight versus Mike Alvarado, that was a good fight. You know, you know, forehead to forehead, you know, close quarter fighting. But this was more of a clinch fest, smothering Guerrero had uh, Berto against the ropes and was just constantly s semi holding and holding and Berto was frustrated and um I'm not a big fan of, of all that you know too much ropes uh, I, I kind of want to see him in the middle of the ring fighting I mean I'm not saying that I don't like the inside fighting I really do it's just there's a fine line between fighting inside and fighting uh, a smothering fight and a lot of holding and a lot of clinching and like I said on Twitter, I like boxing. I don't like MMA. Uh, not that I have... I just don't like all that clinching. I don't like clinching. Um, from the third round almost to the end of the fight was a, a clinch fest for Guerrero and, 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 and Berto, but more Guerrero than Berto. I gave Berto the fourth round because in that round, um, while Guerrero was clinching and smothering him and had him against the ropes, Berto was actually bobbing his head up and down and shooting up some uppercuts and, and stuff of that nature and um, I think Berto finally realized how to work uh, Guerrero against the ropes well again, when Guerrero has Berto against the ropes fifth round was a slow round um, Berto was hitting a lot to the back of the head and, and the ref actually um, warned him twice I guess for the rabbit punches but Guerrero was pushing his head down and obviously Berto goes to throw and it, it hits it lands to the back of the head um, sixth round, I, I gave to Berto as well. The, the seventh round was definitely a round of the year contender, um, in my opinion. There was a lot of back and forth. I mean, a lot. There was still a lot of rope uh, fight. You know, a lot of fighting along the ropes. But there was a lot of these guys were really you know throwing against the ropes, and there was a lot of back and forth. And in the end, Guerrero got the best of them the last couple of seconds in the round, in which I gave Guerrero the, the round because of that. The eighth round was a little bit of a snoozer against, um, you know, they, they would tie up in the middle and, you know, somebody's hand was behind somebody's grabbing and it was just like, 
uh, it was a little bit, uh, rounds were getting a little bit um, competitive from time to time. Not competitive, but repetitive. Um, I gave not the ninth uh, round to Berto because Rob, all of a sudden, his eyes started getting a little bit shut too. I think around this time, Berto's eyes started to close on him. He looked like he got stung by a wasp, and he was allergic to wasps because his eyes were like, I mean, they were closed. They were like pretty much like that, and I don't even know if you can see. I think there was a part where Rob says, man, I can't even see, you know, and um, I gave the 10th round to Rob, uh, Bert, Berto. Uh, I gave the 11th round to Guerrero, and the 12th round was a hell of a round. It um, was a round that both guys, it was pretty much a war of wills round. These guys were fighting uh, inside, uh, not too much clinching. Um, it was just a good good overall round, and the crowd was standing up, and the people were cheering, and it was a, a great atmosphere at the end of the 12th round. And as a matter of fact, um, Rob kind of sneaked in a couple of punches after the bell rang, which I thought it was kind of like, you know, come on. Maybe he heard the bell, maybe he didn't. Um... Rob took some shots though, man. He, his chin is his chin is solid. Um, you know, he he jumped up from uh, lightweight to to welterweight to challenge uh, Ideen and then now Berto. Um, again, like I said, just too much clinching, man. Uh, people were saying it's fight of the year contender and this and that. It was a good solid fight, but I think Juanma and Brandon Rios, Juanma versus Salido and Juan, uh, Rios and Alvarado, I think were better fights overall. I think the clinching really did kind of dilute the fight um you know obviously Guerrero wants you know Floyd Mayweather um should he get him uh, why not you know, let him see what he can do I, I think Floyd would definitely dominate um but um I think earlier this week um I was saying well let, let the winner of that fight fight Maidana and Maidana on Twitter actually said you know we had a fight arranged at 140 it fell apart because Guerrero got hurt and let's make the fight happen. I'm all down for it. I want to see my Donna fight. I'm always down to see my Donna fight. Uh, in the end, uh, Guerrero got the uh, the nod with the scorecards of 116-110 uh, for all three judges, which was good judging um, because Guerrero was just up real early with those two knockdowns that he scored. Um, overall, it was a good fight. Um, like I said, I'm sure you're tired of me hear, saying, hearing this, but the clinching was just it diluted the fight a little bit. It diluted the fight, in my opinion, just a little bit. I wish they would have kind of, you know, just worked in instead of just, you know, clinching and, and punching. But, um, Guerrero got the nod. Uh, it was a good, solid win for him. Real good, solid. It's, it's his progression into uh, bigger things. Um, and we'll see where he goes from here. Hopefully he gets the Maidana fight. So, um, that's it. Uh, this is Armando with the Boxing Corner, and I'll see you next time.